Hello humans, it's me again, and today I have a new stack of drawings to show you guys. And since it's mostly creatures this time, I'm probably going to call them this creatures from my mind. Alright, so let's begin looking at what creatures I'm talking about. Alright, so we have our first picture. This is my character, Shadowed Heart. I started to label their names next to them for most of the pictures, so I wouldn't forget. She's a dog girl. She's a knight. And she works for the princess of the dog kingdom on planet Jabron. This is Sailor. Um, yeah, and their form of him. I keep redrawing him because I keep forgetting. Um, he's Copper's friend. He loves to sell boats. He's like not even 10 years old yet. He's probably 5. He's got his little bandana. He's all ready to go. Here is Ganondorf. The way I draw him. This is from the fan fiction. I didn't finish yet. And here's Din. And the next picture we have my character Emerald of the Forest, Emerald for short. He is part shadow, so he can turn into a shadow and can go through walls. And here's Epic Courage, that's the princess of the Dog Kingdom, as I was mentioning earlier. She's got two different colored eyes, beautiful hair, two different colors as well. Nice lacy dress with her curly little tail. She's pretty cool. Alright, and next we have one that's half of the half half of the, that's not even a word. Halfway uh fan drawing. Because right here we have a Vulpix, which is a Pokemon. I'm sure you guys know that already though, if you know anything about Pokemon. And here's my character Frazier. He's sitting in a chair. And that's his Vulpix run right there. He got his hands folded. I rarely draw him like that. This is Luca Warm Water, the son of Lillian and Water Boy. This is him in wolf form. He's strutting, as you can see. That's also a new pose. It was inspired by a picture I saw online. And I thought that's cool, so I copied the sort of how the positioning looked. Not entirely, though. Alright, this next one, Chibi Monster. This is one of my villains, except in chibi form. His name is just the monster. So I gave him the giant head with the giant eyes. And then the tiny little stubby body. And this one, another fan drawn, as we have a roll it. Turning its head completely backwards and making a heart at Timber, who is probably either the owner or the friend of it. And so she's sitting in this position with her knees up and her tail tucked around. And that's also a, a position I don't use often. I try to do a little bit of new stuff in this section of drawings. Here is Fable. She's a wolf, as you can see. She's got her head up in the air. She's got beautiful scarlet red ear. This is supposed to be um, the sister to some of my other wolf characters. Here's Ronald. The father of Frasier, the first Frasier that is. They have multiple Frasiers. And McKenna, who's the bully in the story. Daughter of Mike O. And here is Cool Fire. It's supposed to be a baby or toddler rat 
kid with spiky blue hair, spiky blue ears, and that mischievous grin there. Mm-hmm. Fluffy tail. Yeah. Cool file. And then we see Ronald again. In this picture, however, he is very dirty. That is because he is the son of a blacksmith, and he occasionally gets to help with the projects. And here's Sailor. He says, Grubby! Because he thinks that's gross. That Ronald is all dirty. This is not proportionate, as Sailor would be much shorter than Ronald. Because Sailor is still just a little kid. Alright. And then here is Cynthia. One of my genius characters. And she has a wingle on her head. Yet yeah, another Pokemon! This was a whole bunch of Pokemon pictures in here. She got her usual red hoodie, but this time she's wearing pink pants. She usually wears a red hoodie and red pants. So there we go. Here's another picture. This is Ijimiko, the bully from my some of my stories, the Forgotten World series. He says, you're a noodle to this kid, whose name is Mungo. As you can see, he's tall and skinny in this picture, which is why he's being called a noodle. He's still upset about it, though, even though it's true. And here is Epic Courage as a dog. And this is Mother Mew. Or Mother Mew, I can't remember. Probably Mother Mew. She's very fluffy. And brown. She was in another story I haven't finished yet. I have a whole bunch of unfinished stories I'll get around to eventually. This here is sort of a wyvern, lavender wyvern. See, the hands are all webby. And then there's weird misshapen feet. I'm not good at drawing wyverns, as you can tell. Here is Tingle and his signature saying, Tingle, Tingle, Kulimpa. He just wants you to spend a whole bunch of rupees buying stuff from him. Because he loves rupees. There's his little red underwear that he can turn into a balloon. He can float around with that and just watch. He thinks he's a fairy. He's from The Legend of Zelda. And here's an actual fairy. This is my character, Tropical Twitch. She's got a baseball cap on, and those beautiful orange wings, lightning bolts, and a daisy, I think, in her shirt. So it's an electric flower. And those are capris, I think. So she's supposed to be tiny because she's a fairy. Okay, I'm almost out of pictures already. This is quick. This is Beach, one of Lillian's children. She had a whole bunch, apparently. Water Boy's child as well. Got short hair, short blonde hair. His blue eyes. He wears green and orange usually. And here's Ronald, who is sort of related to Beach. He's got one ear down. He's like, hmm. Because he has to babysit him. And all his siblings disappear. And so he can't figure out where to win. And then here is Raru from The Legend of Zelda. And there's Tattle, the fairy from Majora's Mask. 
And it looks like Raru's wearing a dress. It's actually a robe, but it looks like a dress. A very long orange dress. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we're on the last one already. Here is a shiny polywag watering a rose by spitting water at it. You can tell it's shiny because it's lighter blue. And this, um, it looks like Mari, but it might be one of my other characters. Maybe Rosalina? Is it a Rosalina or a Mari? Both of them love flowers. And there's a rose, so, yeah. Anyhow, that's all the pictures I have for now. I have another stick that I'll be doing that some other time. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more videos to come. Bye!